Well, folks, <laughs> I see there's uh, quite a bunch of you guys in here this morning again. <laughs> hey, you two tall guys in the back there. You want to smoke that stuff there? It's outside. Not in the garage. No, sir. Uh, and maybe Justin's all right with it, but I'm not. So, outside with that or even at the road. I don't want you on my property smoking that. Hey, <laughs> these guys. Hey, I, I try to be quiet there because uh, last time I couldn't even hear myself there. These guys were talking over me. You have a show to <laughs> put on the road here. Uh, this morning, yes, what are we going to talk about? Well, folks, it's the topic of the day. <laughs> See this here? The famous pirate gun. Ain't no 500 bucks, this. It's, it's a lot cheaper than that. But, ah, what I'm here to tell you today is, uh, you, you don't have to buy that. <laughs> and, uh, these little fancy guns even come with the instructions. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you don't have to know that. You don't have to buy one of those. Oh, by the way, I said uh, I buy them by the thousand. I just thought there was a thousand in a bag like that. There's not a thousand. There's uh, 500. See here, folks. Right there, 500. I don't know why I'm focusing on this. 500. See that? Okay. And these are made by Thomas, Thomas, uh, Thomas and Betts, and they're called tie wraps. Well, that's what they call them: wire ties, uh, zip ties, tie wraps. Uh, they go by many names. Now, oh, there's only one tool you need. And, uh, okay, I have to give an acknowledgement. This here, I didn't buy it. Uh, hey, I got it free from uh, Thomas and Betts. They sent me this and a bunch of tie wraps for uh, promotion on uh, YouTube. Eh? So if you wonder how come I got this, it's not because uh, I bought it. It's not because a company that I was forming for bought them. Is we I as a foreman and uh, for the company never bought one of these never because we don't need that. Uh, but I just want to give an acknowledgement to Thomas and Betts for sending me one free, free of charge. That's very nice of them. Uh, maybe someday I may uh, I'll put it back in the little bag and I may do a freebie out of this. <laughs> Send that out to somebody. But uh, it's going to be some kind of contest. I'll have to figure something out. Because I don't need it. And I don't think I'll live long enough to need it. <laughs> as far as the tie wraps go, you're going to have to buy yourself somewhere. Do like Steve Robb does and go to the Wing Wang factory there. <laughs> Harbor Freight or uh, here in Canada, it's Princess Auto there. You have to go to uh, those places there. These here, I showed it before. And uh, probably some of you weren't there at that time, at that particular time. But I'll show you again. <clears throat> See inside there? I don't know. Right in the center. Uh, I don't know if that kind of focuses on that. Hang on. Maybe like this. See that there? See the piece there in the center? That's a stainless steel tab. When you tight, you put this together, and you tighten that. <laughs> Ain't no way that's gonna come off. Well, there is, but trust me, you're gonna put a lot more pound per square inch on one of these than you'll put on the wing wang ones. And uh, just uh, something I want to say, eh? Like it's it's everything's the same in life eh? you get for what you pay for so, for sometimes you pay too much for what you got uh, when you buy tie wraps it's because you want to tie something together well you just want to tie a paper bag well, you don't gotta bother with this just use just go get a hang on use go do like my grandfather used to do <laughs> 
Use some tie wire. That's all you need. You don't gotta put tie wraps. The old guys never had tie wraps. They never knew about tie wraps. All they had was tie wire. And that saved them a lot of times. I still use some tie wire, but when you want to hold some, you want to look half decent, you don't want to cut yourself on it, use tie wraps. And uh, I'll, I'll do another demonstration. I know I'm repeating myself there, but there, there's some new, new people in here. Hey, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in on this. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Ooh, uh, do I remember? Uh, hang on, don't get excited. Ooh, went the wrong way. There. Okay. Hey, a few ways we do it. Okay. There's a few ways. We take them from the side like this. I'm when I'm talking, we we as in electricians. Okay, you're gonna see, I know I'm in front of it there. Hang on, here. I'll do it from this way so you'll see. See? Yeah. Pull, but there's a limit here, eh? Don't pull till the juice comes out. But I'll tell you something, okay? That's tight. That's tight. You you can't get a, you can't get a tight, here. Hang on, I'll, I'll show you how tight that is. Is this wire here? Well, there's no way in the world that I can get that in between the tie rack and there. No way. Now I got something that, that goes in the tire and it <laughs> goes flat. Okay. A few ways you can do these, okay? Now this second one. Okay. <laughs> wow, we won't go to there now. Okay, second one. Okay, some guys, I remember <laughs> when I showed this on my truck there. Some guy said, well, uh, yeah, you're going to be, you know, you're, you're going to be in uh, between something that's going to be tight and you won't be able to go. Well, you can use, hang on, you can use the end of the pliers. That's not too big, is it? Just watch this, folks. And, okay, well, there's something I'm going to tell you. There. Now, that's tight, too. You want to get more, you go from the side and give it a little twerk. <laughs> but... It's tight, just by pulling the head, or you put it on like that, hang on, put it on like that, pull, and then bring forward, and boom, see that? It's tight, it's really tight. <laughs> uh, okay, I gotta tell you something, it's a little story. <laughs> I'll finish these two here first, and then I'll tell you a story. Ah, uh, here I, I do. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll do it this way. I like for you to use guys to see. You see, you grab it, boom. Well, that broke off, eh? But that broke off on the edge of pliers. But still, there's room. One, two, three, boom. See that? And you'll never, never cut your hand on that. Never. It's, it's, it's not sharp. It's not like a, an edge like you cut with a knife. Okay, I'll do this. Uh, see this one? I put it, you know, put it the other way, eh? See, this? so there's always a way. There's always a way. See, that's what we do with them, eh? We as in electricians. As, uh, well, I can't generalize here. We as in electricians, a uh, big we as in as in the guys that were working for me, eh? See, this is not hard, eh? Like that cutting part there, I don't know where they're going with that with them fancy tools. All you got left is the ties. Okay, by the way, <laughs> Thomas and Betsy, your, your wing wang tie wraps, you'll get them in a few lengths, this different size, a few sizes, but that's it. Thomas and Betsy have a catalog on tie wraps. You can get the white ones, which are uh, the non-UV protected, the non-oil protected. The, as far as I'm concerned, or you shouldn't buy those. And then you got these here. That's about a hundred bucks a bag, these tie wraps, like the 500, like I showed you. And the uh, white ones, I believe you can get them in the thousand bags. 
but they're not worth buying. And uh, they're around the same price. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, there's all kinds of these. Eh? Pandu makes them, uh, uh, Burndy, I think, makes them. Everybody in the kitchen sink makes them. Uh, you can buy them at uh, Auto Supplies and uh, Princess, uh, all different places, different quality. It, again, you get for what you pay for and you pay for what you get. <laughs> Guys, good stretch it out, folks. But uh, there's no need for it. So do yourselves a New Year uh, <laughs> resolution and get, it, get rid of those fancy little guns there that uh, you don't need. Just a simple flare of pliers. See, like you'll bring with you, you'll bring with you a tire. A bunch of tie wraps, okay? In a bag, you're going somewhere, you're going hunting. I don't know where you're going, but uh, you bring a bunch of tie wraps. You don't need nothing if you just use the tie wrap and let the end stick out. You don't need nothing. And if you if you want to take the end off, well, don't cut it, eh? Well, that's a big no-no for me. You can do whatever you want. And if you cut yourself, well, that's good. <laughs> you deserve it. Because <laughs> I told you, Never cut a tie wrap. You twist them off. And you'll never, see that? Never cut yourself. Never. But you cut it, you're gonna cut yourself. I guarantee you that. Or the knuckles, eh? <laughs> so, uh, okay, uh, New Year's coming, eh? And uh, I was gonna sing you a song, but I won't bore you with that. So, uh, I just kinda wish us all, uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, thanks to the folks in here today, you're nice and uh, well more quiet than the other day. The other day I couldn't even hear myself talk, but I know I'm repeating myself. But okay, so uh, that's it. The, the lesson of today is you don't need no fancy tools for Tyra. Not even a, a $10 tool is $10 you could have kept in your pocket. You could have had breakfast at a, in a restaurant. No, that's right. Now you don't, can't have no breakfast. Not here in Canada anyways. I was thinking about that the other day. I used to go a few times a week there with a buddy of mine who used to go. Different places, choking puke places, eh? But now, yeah, it's 10, 12 bucks. Plus tax, plus tip. Ah! Yeah, they're discouraging people. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess the minimum wage has gone up and uh, I don't know if it's all the restaurants that are taking the money or they're giving it to the people. But, uh, uh, maybe it's just because I'm getting tight as I'm getting older. Hey eh? <laughs> right, folks, we'll see you in the new year, eh? So don't forget, <laughs> you take them ladies dancing because <laughs> they like that. <laughs> right, uh, salute you all <laughs> and we'll see you next We'll see you next year, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>